atrial fibrillation, medication, medication, a therapy for atrial fibrillation is explained. Because medication is not curative, it should be continued. You must visit a medical institution to consult a doctor and receive treatment. First, anticoagulants are explained. Anticoagulants make blood difficult to coagulate and thin. While atrial fibrillation is taking place, a thrombus that causes a cerebral infarction may be formed. Taking an anticoagulant creates a condition in which thrombi are difficult to form. Elderly people, people who have had a cerebral infarction in the past, or people with hypertension, diabetes mellitus, or heart failure have a condition where thrombi are easily generated and anticoagulants are proactively used in them. Appropriate treatment reduces the risk of a cerebral infarction. Attention should be paid to the dose. If the dose is too low, the preventive effect of a cerebral infarction is reduced. And if the dose is too high, the blood becomes so thin that the bleeding risk increases. Bleeding tends to occur not only on the body surface, but also in invisible parts, such as the gastrointestinal tract. The typical anticoagulant, warfarin, requires periodic blood tests and attention to food and co-administration drugs. For example, natto cannot be eaten. However, new anticoagulants require no limitations in the diet and fewer limitations of other aspects. Any of such treatments should be used after a consultation with a doctor. Two additional types of drugs with different modes of action are used other than anticoagulants. One is a rate control that regulates the heart rate to almost a normal condition, and the other is a rhythm control that prevents and arrests atrial fibrillation. During atrial fibrillation, the electric signals transmitted from the atrioventricular node to the ventricles become frequent and increase the heart rate. Rate control drugs adjust the function of the atrioventricular node during atrial fibrillation and make it difficult to transmit frequent abnormal electric signals to the ventricle and the heart rate becomes almost normalized. Symptoms of palpitations can be alleviated and heart failure can be prevented. Rhythm control drugs, on the other hand, directly acts on the atrial myocardium and suppresses abnormal electric signals and excitation, maintaining normal electrical activity. In other words, the atrial fibrillation itself will be terminated and prevented, but the effects may vary depending on the patient and may not be very effective in some cases. Anticoagulants that prevent thrombosis and rate control and rhythm control that improves the symptoms of atrial fibrillation have been explained. Consult a doctor to receive appropriate treatment.